If you're watching this and you're in high school, then odds are your body and mind are under the influence of a pretty wild mix of hormones. In this video, we're going to take a look at the endocrine system that regulates those hormones. So let's start by wrapping our heads around what the endocrine system is. This system helps coordinate the production and release of hormones in your body. These hormones are produced in several different glands and they all have different effects on you. Okay, so what is a hormone? Hormones are chemical messengers that are released into your bloodstream and they carry signals to your organs. These signals tell your body what to do and when to do it. It's important to note that the endocrine system is a slow communication system. A change in your hormones might take a little while to lead to a change in your mood or behavior. The nervous system, on the other hand, operates nearly instantly because neurons fire using electricity. Okay, let's look at some of the different glands in the endocrine system. One of the most important endocrine glands is the pituitary gland. It's often referred to as the master gland because it produces hormones that regulate other glands like your thyroid, for example. But one really important hormone that it makes all by itself is human growth hormone, which helps you grow. You should also know that 75% of human growth hormone is released while you sleep. So if you're young and not sleeping enough, then it's going to affect your hormones and affect your growth. The pituitary gland also makes cortisol, which is the hormone responsible for feeling stressed. And high levels of cortisol can lead to a higher appetite. Ever heard of stress eating? Well, it's a real thing. The pituitary gland also makes a hormone called vasopressin, which, believe it or not, could influence how loyal a person is in a relationship. But before you go out and give your boyfriend a blood test, please know that this research was done on voles. Human are not voles. Moving on. The thyroid gland produces thyroid hormone and it plays a crucial role in regulating how alert and energetic we are. If you have an overactive thyroid, then that can cause insomnia, reduced attention span, and irritability. But if you have an underactive thyroid, that could leave you feeling constantly tired. Another important endocrine gland is the adrenal gland, which sits on top of your kidneys. This gland helps prepare you for dangerous situations. If your amygdala starts a fear or anger response, then your adrenal gland is going to release epinephrine and norepinephrine to energize your body for a potential battle or running away from a battle. This will lead to an increase in blood glucose levels and energy production within the body's cells, as well as increased heart rate, contracted blood vessels, and dilated air passages. In other words, your body becomes completely energized to deal with a life or death situation. It's also worth noting that epinephrine and norepinephrine do not have an opposite effect. They're both stimulants. I think sometimes students get mixed up because of the nor prefix in front of norepinephrine, but anyways. Okay, up next we've got the pineal gland. The pineal gland is an endocrine gland that secretes melatonin, which regulates our sleep cycle. Melatonin is pretty commonly used to help people fall asleep, but just a word of caution, melatonin supplements are really inaccurate in their dosing. You might think that's a five milligram tablet, when in fact, it's a 20 milligram. And this is because the supplement industry isn't regulated by the FDA. So with supplements, you've always got to kind of proceed with caution. Okay, finally, let's talk about the gonads, which are the ovaries and the testes. And they secrete estrogens and androgens, which play a crucial role in development, aggression, sex drive, and brain development. Okay, that's a quick overview of the endocrine system, as well as the glands and the hormones that it produces. In our next video, we're going to talk about the nervous system.